Let's turn this sketch of a lab into a digital twin in Artificial. We got two Agilent Bravos, a robot here, Stereostore, Ambistore, Plate Lock Sealer, a couple multi drop combis, a plate reader, and a centrifuge. So I'll come over to Artificial, create a new lab. This is an assays lab, so I'll name it that. And now we're in our lab editor. So first thing I'm going to do is open up our asset library and start dragging in all the equipment. Let's start with the robot. We have a robot with a rail built in. Next up, let's bring in those Agilent Bravos. Uh, oh, i got to close related equipment. Here it is. And we need two of them. Next up, we'll get that Stary store in here. And I'm just kind of loosely arranging things for now. We'll do a fine arrangement later. Let's grab the Ambi store. And that plate lock sealer. And we'll just kind of keep going down the list. So multi jump combis. And the plate reader here. Micro spin centrifuge. And last one is this plate hotel. Now that doesn't match the sketch, so I think we need this. Ah, yeah, there we go. So now I'll start adding some tables. Um, this table is a little small, but we can always make it bigger. And I'll just copy another one over here using the Alt key to enter copy mode when I'm dragging. And we actually have a specialized table for that robot arm. So I'll drag it in here and you can just drag and put this arm directly on top of the table. Oops. Let me grab the table, drag it back into the middle. All right, so now let's start doing some more fine arrangement. So I'm gonna rotate these guys into place first. And I can go into details if I need to resize this. So let's set the width to like mm, two meters. And then I can just drag, oops, just drag, let's get this guy, drag this guy on top of the table and this other guy. And we'll, we'll make sure the arm can actually reach them later, but for now I'm just kind of putting them on top of the table. Okay. Let's get the plate hotel up on the robot table because it looks like it should be there. We need to make this table a little bigger to handle all that equipment too. We'll see if two meters works. And start putting the equipment on top. Here we go. And I could I could probably group drag or group select and drag all these guys up there at the same time, but I'm just doing them one by one. All right, let's rotate them all into position. Just kind of see if we can fit them all up here. How are we looking? All right, let's move this closer. Oh, yeah, we should probably put the centrifuge on the table. So I gotta scoot these over. And again, I could either drag select to kind of move them all over, but uh, I'm just gonna move them one by one because it's a little easier. You can see this is uh, each of these are actually snapping to the edge of the table as well to make it a little bit easier to position them and not have them hanging over the edge. Eh, not quite enough space there. Let's snap this. There we go. Yep. And okay, now there's room there. Great. Let's rotate this into the position and now we can start checking the robot. So one of the cool things about the digital twin is because we have these all modeled accurately and all the joints, you can actually 
make sure that the robot can reach everything in your lab. So I can just move these joints into position and drag this out and just double check that the robot can actually fit a plate into each of these devices. Obviously we'll need to go program these paths in separately. Uh, you can make sure it's gonna work, which is nice. And we'll do the same thing for the Bravos and just kind of nudge stuff around a little bit. All right, last thing to do is to populate these storage units. So I'm gonna go and use these uh, capacity 10 plate hotels in here. And for this, I'm gonna use a special feature, which you can put it into copy mode by holding Alt, and then I'm just gonna hit spacebar to paste. And then I can just kind of drag this around and paste it into each slot. I can't quite get all the slots, so I'm gonna rotate that center unit so I can actually see the rest of the slots. There we go. And I'll just keep pacing these around. Lost one there. There we go. You can see this makes it way easier than having to drag each one in. All right. That looks good. Got one in every slot, nothing else sticking out there. And okay, let's put these guys into this other carousel too. So I'm gonna do the same thing, hold Alt to enter copy mode and then hit space to just paste these into each slot. And we're done. Oh, uh, looks okay. Let me, looks like we got an extra one there. Let's just delete that and move it over. Okay, great. So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's double check the sketch. And we got everything. Looks great. This lab's now ready to use with assistance or workflows.